Hi, this is Windows 8.1, and we're using LibreOffice today to create EPUB, uh, those are electronic books, that you can read on mobile devices like iPads, iPods, and Android tablets. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the extension. We approve of the license and after it's installed we restart the LibreOffice application. We'll just open up a presentation. So to export, we click on Share Project, click OK. And we'll save it on the desktop. Now by default, it saves with the same name as the document that you're converting. Just warning us because we've got HTML in the document. So we just need to make sure that the appearance is as we wish when we preview the document. So the first step it goes through is it uh, reads through all the notes of the presentation and then it takes a picture of each of the slides. Now that that's done, the EPUB will appear on our desktop. Now this is a brand new install of Windows, so we haven't set up the associations yet. The computer doesn't know which program to open up an EPUB with. Overdrive is a good choice. It's used by a lot of libraries for distributing books. It just takes a moment for OverDrive to install. Now, once it's installed, we can go back to the desktop. And double click to open it. Now, once it finishes loading, it opens it up in the menu screen. We just click the item to open up the book. The cover is taken from the page that was showing. That is a table of contents. And this is formatted with uh, HTML, so has some indentations and special text, but most of the time you don't need that. You just have to enter plain text. So now we'll just create a brand new document. See how easy it is. We open a present new presentation. We'll just add a title. Now, one thing about the Ability Tools extension is that it also allows your presentations to speak. Just add notes to the presentation and it will speak the notes. Now we'll save the document first. Give it a meaningful name, the name you would give 
it if it was the title of a book. And save it. Now if we try reading the presentation, it has no notes. It prompts us to enter a note. This extension also makes your presentations speak. This extension also makes your presentations speak. Now, as you notice, we just entered plain text there, no fancy HTML. So in the final book, the uh, when we export as an EPUB, the list show is plain text without indentations or highlighting or italics or so on. You just double click on the new EPUB to open it up. It appears on the menu page. We click the menu item. And there it is.